Complete written instructions are included with each kit. Be sure to read and follow these instructions carefully before installing. You will need the proper cable preparation tools and a clean burning propane gas torch. For your own safety, please pay attention to the following precautions before beginning the installation. Failure to follow these warnings could result in injuries caused by fire, explosion, or electrical hazard. First, make sure the area you are working in has good ventilation. Check all torch connections for leaks before lighting. This product is covered by a material safety data sheet. Before installing any electrical accessory, read and follow the safety requirements and the written instructions. In addition, be sure to follow the safety instructions established by your own organization. The laboratory demonstration that follows is not intended to represent field installation conditions or your specific safety procedures. As the use of polymeric cables at up to 72 kV increases, so does the need for modern jointing techniques. These heat shrinkable tubings form the basis of the 72 kV joint design from Raychem. To shorten installation procedures, thick wall insulating sleeves were developed with a unique construction. The outer layer, shown in black, is of a heat shrinkable polymer. Attached to it is a rubber-like insulating material, held at an expanded diameter by the outer layer. Only this need be heated. Its elastic memory is activated and the strong recovery forces of the inner elastomeric layer are released. The whole component thus shrinks to a predetermined diameter. Repeatable automatic installation of a pre-engineered wall thickness is one of the practical benefits of this technique. In addition, the Raychem solution incorporates an improved conductor jointing method. The connector is of the mechanical type suitable for large cross sections. Contact grease is supplied pre-coated inside the connector and the bolt heads are designed to shear off cleanly at the correct screw torque. A conductive paint is applied to improve screen preparation. Silicone grease enhances the surface of the cable insulation. At the screen ends and over the connector, the electrical field is controlled by a material with a stress adjusting impedance characteristic. The material is installed as a heat shrinkable tubing, a technique that has been used successfully at medium voltages since the 1960s. The insulating tubing is also of the dual wall construction described earlier. The large size at which it is supplied enables it to be slipped over the cable easily. Recovery begins as soon as the outer surface is heated above 120 degrees centigrade and continues until the tubing has shrunk to fit the joint tightly.
The second dual wall elastomeric component allows the electrical screen of the joint to be installed together with the final insulating layer. In this case, the outer layer is of a black heat shrinkable polymer with a conductivity close to that of the cable screen itself. Ease of installation accompanies reliability. The heat shrinkable properties of the components do not rely on the circumstances of installation. The result is a pre-engineered cable splice. In addition to the hot melt adhesive at the ends of the inner tubing, a mastic is applied to provide a further moisture block. In the splice area, the metallic shield of the cable is restored with tinned copper mesh. Electrical contact with the earth lead is made by roll springs. Soldering is not required. Finally, the mechanical and corrosion protection functions of the cable oversheath are replaced by a heat shrinkable sleeve. A hot melt adhesive is pre-coated inside. Heat and the shrinking action of the sleeve cause the adhesive to melt and flow into place. The lasting seal that results is a sign to the installer of a job well done and a successfully completed cable splice.